All right, so now for the moment. Let's open this thing up. Oh my god, dude. He is very bald and he has a lot of protectant. Oh! What up, Rep Back? It's your boy here, King Reptar, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys are, you know the drill. Thunderbolt! What? <laughs> Because your boy is here. It's today in this big Walmart box. I have a bunch of Pokemon figures. Do you remember the uh, the, the remits, the little Pokeballs? Yeah, yeah, the, the terrariums. Friends. Yeah, they were freaking sweet. I opened them a while ago on screen. They have these little terrariums. So I ordered some of those. But when I was ordering that for the series, if you guys are new here, there's a series where I'm trying to collect all of the remits. But when I was looking for those, I started to realize I'm getting dangerously close to finishing it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so I was only able to find six, six that were able to be mystery ones that I didn't have. And there's only like two or three left that I need. I thought there was all of them, but apparently there's like, they skipped some Pokemon. Oh, <laughs> like 600? Um, like just pretty much coughing. <laughs> <laughs> but when I was looking for those, I found some of the ones that I need left. But then I just went on a little bit of a tangent and I went to HotTopic.com. You know Hot Topic has Pokemon figures? I found that Hot Topic had moldable figures and not just that, the brand new Funko Pops for Pokemon came out as well. Really? Yes. But if that wasn't all, Enough. At the end of this video, we're gonna be opening up one item. If you guys remember the life-size Pikachu, that was so oh, so beautiful. It was great. I have it in my living room, just sitting there because it's like it's like having a physical Pikachu right there. Always sitting there, always watching you. Yeah, always watching me, protecting me, judging you. He does it a lot, <laughs> <laughs> especially when I try to walk out there with a towel on. You know, just try to duck into the door real quick. <laughs> He's like Pikachu. <laughs> We are gonna be opening a brand new freaking life size Pokemon. So let me grab that. It is in this big wish box. <laughs> And if you guys watched the first video, it came in like a ragtag box like this too, really beat up. But the figure was not, right? Uh, yeah, it, the figure was great. So there should be in here, I'm not gonna tell you which Pokemon. There should be a life-size Pokemon here. I will say, if we were in Kanto, you get to choose one of three, all right? Well, that's that's really specific. <laughs> this is not really specific, there's birds. <laughs> <laughs> there's at least two things this could be, all right? So we have this right here, a life-size Pokemon. I am so pumped to open that. We're gonna put this to the side. We're gonna get into this box that would open up all these Pokemon figures. This is going to be a Pokemon figure fest, so let's do it. So let's get into this right now. Let's do it. There we go. <laughs> all right, so we're going to start with the Funko Pops. Let's check them out. These are the brand new ones that just came out. As of now, I mean, I think the ones that last came out were what? Mewtwo, Vulpex. Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime, and a random second gen Pokemon, Pichu. But most I'm most, most upset about is Ash's father. Norman? No, Mr. Mime. Oh. <laughs> Hey, that broomstick wasn't the only stick Mr. Mime had, all right? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> so let's pop it open. Let's get the first one out. We got Pikachu. There's another Pikachu pop. Sweet. Let's check it out. Classic Pokemon. Yeah, classic Pokemon. Every set must have a Pikachu. But right here, this one looks like he's doing, like, Thunderbolt or something. That's... Oh, it's like Angry Face. Yeah, Angry Face Pikachu. They already released, I think, three Pikachus already. They've got the Pikachu at Target, the Flash Pikachu, the Waving Pikachu, and now this ten one. Tenage. Oh, and Tenage. Oh, four, four Pikachus. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> let's pop this one out of the box real quick and check him out. All right, let's pull him out. Of there and damn dude it actually looks pretty sweet <laughs> he's like maximum charge up mode all right so there we go we got the brand new pikachu by funko that is the first one so this is the only one that they reproduce from other pokemon so now the next three i'm pulling out are brand new pokemon they just made all right next one up i actually don't know what pokemon are coming i'm gonna go with this one oh it's a growling Okay, it's a Growlithe. That is sweet. Whoa! I can see the whole line on the back. I doesn't even feel like that many's come out already. I know. I feel like we, so we have the whole first gen out. <laughs> All right, let's pull out this Growlithe. That one is sweet looking. Yeah, what's that about Growlithe? Is he's got sick white dad hair. <laughs> like, you know, the white dad's got that spiked up hair with the sunglasses? Yep. Is yep. that, but it's fire. <laughs> he's got fire locks. All right, let's pop him out. All right, there goes Growlithe. <laughs> Is there gonna be like a freaking Officer Jenny behind him? I know, right? <laughs> that is so sick, dude. Growlithe looks freaking fierce. And I don't know, I always kind of forget that Growlithe is like kind of like a tiger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, for, I think I like this one more than the Pikachu one, honestly. I agree, yeah. Yeah, I, I we have so many Pikachu ones, and then like that's so fresh. Yes, yeah, so my favorite Pikachu is the notchiered one. That's like the one I think they should have made at the start instead of the one the target one just standing there. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, oh yeah, this is Pikachu. Yeah, that one I think the waving Pikachu should have been the starting one, but I gotta say, I like this one more than the Thunderbolt one. So there we go, our fire type. Growlithe. All right, next one to pull it out. Let's do it. Hey, Q-Bone right there, man. He's needed a pop for way too long. This is hands down probably one of my favorite pops for the Pokemon they made just because that skull, dude. I got 
gotta take, take a closer look at that. I mean, that it looks good through the sweet. window. All right, we're gonna pop it open right now and take a look at it a little closer so we can see that skull. All right, here he comes, donning that skull of his dead mother. We got Cubone. <laughs> oh, wow. That looks so freaking sick, dude. dude. That actually does, wow. <laughs> that has got to be one of my favorite ones they've made. Just cause Cubone's skull, the way they sculpted it around, like it almost looks like there is another head in there. Fun theory, I mean, it's pretty much all but confirmed. Cubone is actually that little baby inside Kangaskhan's pouch. That is Cubone. That is what Cubone becomes. It is not canon anymore because they wrote that out. But originally, this was supposed to be Kangaskhan's baby. <laughs> and this is a Kangaskhan's head. <laughs> now, we got one more to pull out. And I think that would make this one. I, I didn't see all the ones that came out. But I did know there was one that came out and people seemed kind of underwhelmed about. I think oh. that might be the next one. Oh, fuck. Oh, great. That sounds terrible. <laughs> all right. The last one out of here. I think I hear some mice. We got the wall. <laughs> Ratatata. I mean, it's not the best looking pop, but hey, they had to make them, right? You can't not make a 151. But you can make 150. Actually, you probably could have just made 149. <laughs> <laughs> I just forgot. You just forgot Ratatata. <laughs> that would have been weird. They would have made 149. But they had to make Ratatata. I mean, there's someone out there who's that's their favorite Pokemon ever. So we got the Ratatata right here. Let's pop out of the box. I gotta say, I don't like his whiskers. <laughs> All right, there we go. Six nine in a box. Yeah. <laughs> let's pop it out and let's take a look at that freaking front tooth. <laughs> just that. It's just a one tooth. Let's just look at that front tooth. You got a SpongeBob buck tooth. I don't like these whiskers that you can see the mold lines. It's just, yeah, I don't, yeah. That That's what weird. bothers me about Dude, them, these look mold like a lines. Whisker. It looks like a freaking like a Charizard horn. Yeah, like a protrusion of some kind. <laughs> oh, I did notice actually, they have the basic energy back there for Ratatata. For the Growlithe, we have the fire type. This is the first time we've seen a normal type in the set. So there we go. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out some of the remits. We're gonna go for, let's get the three of them. Let's just see what we can get. And then we're gonna go into those hot topic buildable figures. Those things are absolutely sick. So let's check those out. I haven't seen them in person, but I ordered the Mewtwo one, and that one looks freaking fantastic. Delicioso. Okay, <laughs> let's see if we can get something for our set here. And if you haven't seen a remit before, get ready to see the inside of a Pokeball. It's freaking every time blows my mind the design they come up with. All right, so the boxes are mystery. Let's see. We're gonna let the knife decide who's going first. All right, let's do it. What's it called? It's like spin the bottle or spin the wheel of death. Just Hey! All right. All right, Parker, open up. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. The first one. If you guys are new here, they come with a little piece of green tea gum. Because in Japan, everything comes with green tea gum. Even if you buy toilet paper, it comes with green tea gum. <laughs> Let's check it out. Let's see what the figure looks like. Who is it? Poliwag. Oh, it is Poliwag. And it's Psyduck. I saw Psyduck first. Okay, yeah, it's Psyduck and Poliwag. That is dope. So somehow, guys, all these pieces right here, they're going to fit inside of there and make a Pokemon world. It's absolutely awesome. Got the Poliwag and the Slowpoke. Let's put this all together. Let's see what they're terrarium looks like. All right, so there we go. We got Psyduck and Poliwhirl. That is freaking sweet. They both just met each other, hanging outside. Psyduck has this leaf that's covering him from the rain. It's got a single drop of water coming off of it. <laughs> like the detail that they go in on these is absolutely insane. That Poliwag looks pretty damn good. You know that little thing in its like stomach is actually its intestines? Oh yeah. Yeah, that spiral is actually the Poliwag's intestines. Very disgusting. Let's go ahead and put that lid on just like a regular show. They're in the dome now. <laughs> All right, so there's our first terrarium. Let's Let's see who's the next one. I swear, these are like my favorite. Like of all the stuff mystery that we open on this channel that I've gotten the, the pleasure of getting to open, I gotta say these are my favorite of like the mystery toys. Oh yeah, I agree. Like they're just so intricate. All right, next one, let's see what we got here. Pull them out. It is, is a Squirtle? Hey, it is a Squirtle. <laughs> oh, nice. It's a Squirtle. Okay, so we have a Squirtle with a water and a freaking like land piece as well. Look at that Squirtle, man. All right, let's set this guy up for sure. That is gonna look sick, I can already tell. All right, so this one's almost done. We just got gotta get this water on Squirtle's mouth. All right, you ready, Squirtle? Just take a nice suck on that little water nip. All right, you just gotta get in there. Oh, oh I want some, some water milk. Oh, it's some water milk. Let me suckle. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> He's actually supposed to be blowing the water, but that is so sick, dude. Oh. That is such a dope one. <laughs> Just chilling in the water. Yeah, man. Let's go ahead and add that lid on there. I definitely can't wait to put this next to the Bulbasaur and the Charmander one that I have at home. That is so sick, dude. Like, there is nothing. If you can only afford, like, three of these, I say you get Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and Charmander. They, on hands down, made those some of the best looking ones. All right. And then I opened the other remint that was supposed to be the third one, but we got a duplicate, which is weird because the lady that I work with, she sends me them as mysteries, but I, but guaranteed not duplicates just because these are actually something you can buy at the store. And you kind of can tell ones you get the way that i do them for fun is i order them all and she's supposed to send me the ones that i haven't ordered yet but apparently there was a mistake because i got articuno <laughs> we've already seen articuno on this channel before hey man didn't expect it though it didn't but that was cold <laughs> <laughs> all right 
right, these are the Hot Topic figures I was telling you guys about right now. If you go to Hot Topic, I think they have them for like 10 bucks. They're originally like $20, but I think they're pretty sick because they went to Hot Topic. Not a lot of people saw them, but they made three of them. And these are freaking buildable scale figures. <laughs> you have Eevee, Pikachu, and of course, Mewtwo. And I've seen them and they look pretty damn sweet. We're gonna set these things up and see what they look like. I mean, damn, freaking scale figures for 10 bucks. That's not bad at all. <laughs> all right, so let's pop these things open. Which one do you think we should do first? I know which one we want to do first, but that's not gonna go first. Which one do you think I want to do first? You want to do Pikachu first. That's true. <laughs> and then you want to do Eevee and then Mewtwo. No, dude, that would make Eevee second and Mewtwo third. His name is Mewtwo. Eevee second. Bro. Yeah, they're thinking about my brain work. <laughs> <laughs> so which one? Pikachu. Pikachu. All right, Pikachu. It is. Let's do it. <laughs> its ears will move adorably. All right, let's pop him open. I don't even know what it's gonna look like. It might just look like a bunch of parts. Wow, it's a bunch of parts. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't expect it like that. Yeah, so this is the scale figure right here. Let's put this Pikachu together and see what it looks like. All right, so we're working on the freaking figures right now. But check out Naked Eevee. <laughs> That's what Eevee would look like without all that chest fluff. It's just so, it's like a cat or a dog. <laughs> it's like anything else you normally see. Yeah, it's crazy how much this makes it look like a Pokemon. <laughs> all right, we're gonna keep finishing these up and hopefully we can get them all built. A little harder than I thought, but also easier than I thought. I guess I didn't think anything extreme. <laughs> all right, so we just got Eevee done and check that out, dude. <laughs> that looks really good. That looks amazing for like only was on clearance too. And just the fact that you built it, like the building yourself makes it so much more fulfilling. It's got movable ears, a movable tail. It's got pretty much everything, movable legs. It's got everything a figure has and you built it yourself. So that's the Eevee one right there. But let's see the Pikachu one. So Parker beat the, built the Pikachu one right here. <laughs> just in case it comes out bad. <laughs> Just saying, Parker built the Pikachu one, alright? Parker built the Pikachu one yeah. right here. Looks damn good, doesn't it? Looks great. Except uh, for that like, nose. But... Hey, no. <laughs> but the Pikachu is definitely still sick. I definitely like the Eevee more just because that nose is kind of weird. Hey, it's because you made it. Yeah, that's too <laughs> But now for the last one. We actually both built this one. And that is Mewtwo! <laughs> and dude, he looks so freaking sick. He's got the little crotch, little clear crotch holder. <laughs> put it right here in the crotch sucker. And then you just tilt them up. Boom! Right there you got Mewtwo. <laughs> that is sick. Was it weird that this was easier to build than those two? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, it was weird. It was a lot easier to build than those ones were. But there we go, we got the Mewtwo. I gotta say, man, my Mewtwo, the Mewtwo is my favorite. I mean, yeah. <laughs> All right, Rep Pack. So now, what we are gonna do is we're gonna open the last two terrariums that I have. I thought I had more, but like, there's a duplicate. But I'm gonna open the last two terrariums, and then we're gonna open up that life-size Pokemon. All right, let's do it. I mean, we haven't guessed in a while. Like, try and guess. I mean, we don't, now we have natural the selections of being deleted most of them. I, I, I can't remember every single one that we opened though. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go with an, an evolution. I'm gonna go with Sylveon we haven't seen yet. Tyranitar. Tyranitar? Jesus, you're going big. Uh, yeah, Alright, yeah. right. let's see what we got here. It is definitely not a Tyranitar. It's Gen 2 and it's a Wobbuffet. <laughs> that is still pretty sweet. We got a Wobbuffet. Alright, so the sign goes right there and Wobbuffet's just chilling out here. Go and drop that in there. Pretty simplistic one for Wobbuffet. What else is there to him? <laughs> I guess that's true. <laughs> so there we go. We got Wobbuffet. That man, that freaking blue tripod. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Dialga. I'm gonna go with Palkia. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Either that or it could be the god himself, Arceus. Let's see if we got it. Arceus, I know. Let's see what it is. No way. Oh, that's the Mew. That's the Mew. That's oh. the Mew. So the Mew is actually the most expensive one. They sell for $50 to $60. I picked the regular retail and she threw this one in as the mystery. Maybe that's why I got a duplicate. Yeah, it's just like, oh, if you're gonna get Mew, you're gonna, you're gonna get a couple you've already gotten. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, let's open this up. That is amazing. I did not expect Mew. Mew to be the one we we're gonna pull the last one. Sweet. So this guy's, like I guess this one sells for good money, and it's just because I mean it's like it's Mew. I mean it's Mew. It's the, the it's, ancestor of all Pokemon. Hmm. It's Mew. <laughs> yeah. So right there we got Mew. And if you want to know why he's looking at the water, as you guys know, if you've seen the movie, Mew is known for looking at his reflection and just reflecting on life. All right. So that is why he's looking there. But man, I cannot believe that this one's actually in there. Fifty bones, man. Let's go ahead and capture Mew. Do the thing that even Red couldn't do and capture. Mew. <laughs> All right, so now for the moment. Let's open this thing up and let's see if you can guess what Pokemon it is just based off the box. All right. Okay. All right. Now we get the box. Ooh, oh, the box is oh, there. Oh, geez. <laughs> 
Oh, oh, oh my. Dude, it's red hanging out with the Charmander. That is so sick. There's gotta be some dope Squirtle in there. Yeah, it's gotta be a Squirtle, right? Let's go ahead and see what we got in here, guys. Let's see what this life-size Pokemon ends up looking like. All right, I think it's safe to say that we know it's a Charmander. Right? Um, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how he looks. Let's pull him out. Oh my god, dude. I see a bald head. He is very bald and he has a lot of protectant. Oh my god. Oh, he looks freaking clean. That thing looks amazing. <laughs> Let's put him down so he's in his natural state. There we go. We got oh. the life-size Charmander. That thing is huge. Wait a minute, dude. Where's his tail? He's dead right now. He oh. doesn't have a, his light just stay lit. He just put him down the side. Did he get the tail? Oh, the fire! <laughs> oh, it's attachable. Yes, it's actual fire. Well, not actual fire, yeah. but <laughs> it's actual looking fire. All right, let's put him right there. Let's add that fire tail. There we go, man. Oh. <laughs> That, that adds everything. <laughs> right here, me hanging out with my Charmander, man. That thing is so realistic looking. Dude, look at the nails, though. You see how they go from dark to light just for the texturing? Dude, yeah, the color is amazing. It's incredible. Like, this is truly incredible. Like, I, I can tell you guys that I have some more of these Pokemon in real life coming. What if I told you this is cheaper than a 10-inch Funko Pop? What? Yes. This one was cheaper than the Pikachu. Well, how much was it? I'm not going to name the prices because I don't want somebody else to start stealing this. I paid less than 50 for this one. The Pikachu was almost 100, but this one was less than 50. I'm already sold. <laughs> right? It's like, I would take this over a 10 inch pop any day. Any day of the week? Any day of the year. Yeah. Any yeah. day of my life. Okay. <laughs> Let's take one last look at freaking has to be the world's best real life Charmander that you could buy accessible at your home. This makes any room doper. Instantly. Instantly. If instantly you have... cool. Exactly, man. Just having a Charmander chilling in your corner. I have the Pikachu already chilling, so you guys know you're going to see the Charmander as well. And man, who knows what the next Pokemon is going to be in the giant mystery box? I tell you guys, I got quite a few more Pokemon that I can show you guys life-size forms of. If you guys want to see it, let me know. I'll hit my connect up and I'll get them ASAP. Alright, so you saw the life-size Charmander. Smash the like button for the next Pokemon. All I can say is the next Pokemon. If it was a woman, it would be squirting. Alright? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new here. Make sure you have those post notifications on so you do not miss an upload when it goes up. Generic YouTube quote, but smash the bell button. Like, literally make sure it's on because there's a lot of issues with it right now so make sure you have it on but check out this video screen right here which is actually the last episode of the pokemon remit figures when you click on that it's going to put you on a playlist of all the remit figure videos as well so i hope you guys enjoyed that i'll see you guys over there and as always rep pack i'll see you guys in the next one adios Boop.